topic for you and today it's uh, internal audit. As a lot of you wonder what is it about, what do you need to do, what does it consider, yes, now we will talk about it. So, internal audit. You probably know the external audit which is mandatory for all the MCs to make it happen once per year and then deliver it to the sub membership subcommittee to receive the full membership of the ISEC International. Yes, internal audit is something similar, but you already might see her the, the difference between the internal and external. External audit is external because it's done by external body, which is independent and objective. So it's very valuable because we assume that the external body doesn't lie to the report. But when we have internal audit, it's something that we manage by ourselves. So we as ISEC will have one responsible one or more responsible people to manage this audit. And they are auditing the other bodies. Usually it's for auditing the ELSIs, but it's also an audit of operation, not only finance operation, but general operations which happen in ISEC. And for that you can have specific audits. So now I will talk about uh, the intent audit, which is described uh, by GFB. It's also uh, used in many of entities together with the internal audit tool, which consists of all the necessary things you need to do to be able to do this kind of audit and give you the basic framework. Of course, uh, the internal audit is very good audit because we as internal people we know our operation the best so we know what do we need to audit what do we need to check and also these things are different from entity to entity so the GFP internal audit tool is a very good start for you but it's not something final you can put there many many other things which you need to check that's what you need to define but the basic scope is that yes you check the accounting, the check the finance operation in the entities. Because with the finance, most of the risks are connected. Like there are risks that somebody steals the money, there are risks that uh, something is done incorrectly, so then your reports and accounting is uh, actually misaligned with the reality. So that's why we do the audit of accounting and finance operation. But you also need to ensure that you have all the papers signed, that you, for example, have the kind of agreements with the VP Finance, that you are taking care and that they are responsible for the amount of cash uh, you have in your entities. And also that uh, the VP Finance don't take the costs which are not necessary, for example, for covering their personal costs or just some misleading the information. Then there are also other risks connected. Like a lot of our exchange operations are connected uh, with the legal risk, especially when we are talking about visas. Then there are all the floods for our IGV projects. There are also kind of a risk which we need to take in consideration. It's a similar as uh, management of conferences when we yet know that we need to have a damage fee because it is a risk that something gets damaged and we need to pay for it. So internal audit in all these stages assess what is the risk and actually internal audit is a tool to manage the risk to ensure okay, this risk is as low as possible because by having an internal audit you also motivate the people to do the job properly, also you make the people to learn how the job should be done because if you never audit them, they might never discover that they made a mistake for a whole year. And that's one of the reasons we really recommend you to run internal audit inside your LCs at least twice per year. Because if you do it just once at the beginning or at the end, you have a huge amount of operations. And if there is just one mistake repeated every week, you have like 40, 70 mistakes just because of one mistake which was done at the beginning. So that's why it's important. And I really think this is one of the most helpful things that you can do to manage your risk in the entity. To manage that there is very low risk of losing
losing money, losing the legal status, losing the transparency with the customers, losing the, the quality of the project as well as the reputation towards the customers and partners. So that's like the small introduction. I definitely recommend you to go through all our tutorials on YouTube, which we have about each topic of the final, um, sorry, of the internal audit tool in a uh, very clear uh, explanation with examples and then you are able to just do it by yourself.